The Lord's Supper, also referred to as the communion and the breaking of bread, is a commandment of Jesus given to the church. We can find references to the Lord's Supper in the following passages. Matthew chapter 26, verses 26 through 29. Mark chapter 14, verses 22 through 25. Luke chapter 22, verses 17 through 20. And in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 23 through 29. Jesus established the Lord's Supper the night he was betrayed. Jesus explains the three elements involved in the Lord's Supper. The bread represents the body of Jesus. The fruit of the vine, or grape juice, represents the blood of Jesus. The New Covenant, or New Testament, is represented by the cup. The church is commanded to partake in the Lord's Supper in Matthew chapter 26, verses 26 through 27, and in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 23 through 27. The question often arises when or how often the church is to partake in the Lord's Supper. The New Testament example of the church partaking in the Lord's Supper is on the first day of the week, Sunday. Therefore, each first day of the week, Sunday, the church gathers to partake in the Lord's Supper. The importance and unity of the Lord's Supper is shown in the Apostle Paul's letter to the Corinthian brethren as he expresses the oneness of the church as they partake in the Lord's Supper. The cup of blessing which we bless is not the communion of the blood of Christ. The bread which we break is not the communion of the body of Christ. For we, though many, are one bread and one body, for we all partake of that one bread. Since the days of the apostles, the church has constantly met on the first day of the week to partake of the Lord's Supper. Come worship with us in Allen, Texas, or visit our website if you would like to learn more from the Bible.